In this modern world, the electronic devices around us, like television, laptops, and many others, consist of semiconducting devices like transistors, diodes, and so on. These devices use two types of semiconductors, intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors. Nowadays, electronic devices mainly use extrinsic semiconductors over intrinsic semiconductors. But, why? Regarding intrinsic semiconductor, it is nothing but a silicon structure, by which, the valence electrons absorb some amount of thermal energy, and gets excited from the valence band, to the conduction band, which results in a vacancy in the valence band called, a hole. This movement, results in the formation of electron hole pairs now if the potential difference is applied across the semiconductor the current will flow through the external circuit this semiconductor where the conduction of electric current is due to movement of electrons and holes known as intrinsic semiconductor which is a pure form of semiconductor the conductivity of intrinsic semiconductor is very less at room temperature and it is very pure but electrical conductivity relies on impurity atoms in them so to increase the conductivity some amount of impurity is added to the intrinsic semiconductor known as extrinsic semiconductor this addition of external impurities to increase the conductivity is termed as doping these extrinsic semiconductors are classified depending upon the type of impurity added, such as N-type semiconductor or P-type semiconductor. But the N-type semiconductor has better conductivity than the P-type. Let's see why it has such better conductivity. We know that pure silicon is a semiconductor. The atom of silicon has four electrons in its outermost shell, which form bonds with its neighboring atoms. For the N-type semiconductor, the pentavalent impurity, phosphorus, containing five valence electrons is doped into a silicon structure. In the five valence electrons, it has one extra electron, and the other four occupied its positions in the shell. This doping increases the number of free electron carriers in the n-type semiconductor. Similarly, for the p-type semiconductor, a trivalent impurity, boron, is doped into the silicon structure, which has three electrons. By this process, it creates an extra hole, and the holes are the majority carriers in the p-type. Meanwhile, in the n-type semiconductor, as the electrons are the majority carriers, the conduction of electric current is more in the n-type, compared to the p-type semiconductors.